It's time for Eric Plays Multiplayer Civ 6. Hey guys, how you doing? That is very enthusiastic for how garbage I feel right now. I am... I am, uh... <coughs> I am just... in a non-stop... sneezing... party today. Uh, it's very annoying. Um... Alright, uh, sit tight, dude. That's cool. I like that. Uh, it's like huts, but also some slightly larger huts. Um, I did not, I'm not letting the fact that I feel like garbage keep me from doing the stuff I want to do that's fun, though. Uh, and I'm not just talking about playing my Civ 6 multiplayer turns, uh, which I got away from my uh, thing over here. What was this called? Dan will rise. Um, in addition to that, today I made uh, homemade English muffins for the first time. That's really exciting. Um, it is. Uh, <coughs> I think only the third bread I've made. It's the first time I've made bread with my um, stand mixer, which is cool. Got to use the dough hook. Um, and I'm using uh, the America's Test Kitchen recipe from uh, cooking in cast iron. Um, interestingly, compared to the... Um, just... A little more understanding of Dave's boundaries. Let's try and get around this way. Cause I imagine that's just more coast over there, on that side. Um, all right. So this is a. Um, I don't. Do I not? Oh yeah, I messed up over there. Okay. So let me just go over here just to see, because. Oh, I guess I would have had that already. All right. Let's come around this way. I found Yervin. And they want a great merchant. Okay. Um, so I need to discover things so I don't end up in a dark age. <coughs> anyway, so I really like watching Binging with Babish. And they had a English muffin recipe, re or he had an English muffin recipe recently that was um, completely in the cast iron skillet. Um, whereas mine, the America's Test Kitchen one, um, it, uh, it, uh, had you finish off in the oven, which is interesting. Although you do put part of it in cast iron skillet. What was cool about finally making this, although I kind of learned it in the, uh, Binge McFavish episode anyway, is that the little searing that's on the top and bottom of your um your english muffin comes from the part where they cook it on the cast iron skillet or i don't know how they do it in the factories when they're making thomas english muffins but when you're making your own that's where that comes from so that was kind of neat and also the um the uh grit on the top found out that is uh um cornmeal and that's to help it not stick to your cast iron skillet all right uh, there may or may not be anything beyond this mountain range. I forget how much maps lie in... Well, I guess they must lie a lot because this is clearly not the entire world. But this is how big my map is for now. Go here. All right, let's explore this a ways. Is my city's gonna be over there? Ooh, Bayetta may not be happy with me settling there. Well, tough luck for him. They want me to construct a campus. <coughs> so let's see my envoy situation now. No one's a Sazerin yet. 
Suzerain. Um, <laughs> I'll go around. Well, now nah, you know what? Let's see what's here. Let's go one more in next time. If I remember, I might just end up going back and forth, back and forth, wasting my scouts' turns. Anyway, I haven't tried my English muffins yet. I started making them at 6 this morning, and the bad thing about making your own bread is that you can't make your own bread on a whim. It kind of has to be... Uh, it kind of has to be... Uh, planned ahead. And I, I did know I wanted to make English muffins, but I, I wanted to eat them fresh. <coughs> As a, and, and I know my experience so far has been from the first stirrings with Thomas muffins, which are never fresh, but I just wanted to eat it like when it's first made. Um, although the uh, the recipe from America's Ice Kitchen did still say that you still toast them before you eat them, but I want to see what it tastes like. And not ones I made yesterday to eat for breakfast today. So I can actually have breakfast for lunch today. I'm going to make myself an egg and sausage McMuffin uh, with homemade sausages that I made um, a few days ago. All right. <clears throat> this one is one in which I did not choose what I wanted to make next. So in this game, let me see. I don't know where Dave and Dan are. Oh, look. Perhaps more land right here. Hard to say, hard to say. Um, there are some bad guys here, okay. Um, <laughs> all right, first you go here. Ah. Link up. Go there. All right, scout, slinger. Uh, 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 uh. Ah, and the slinger has to get pretty close, so I might not want to do that. Mm, got an envoy to Brussels. We discovered Asia. They want a great merchant. And I just really did something crazy there. No, thank you. Go there. Oh, there are another. Or maybe not. Maybe this goes around. It probably does because Stockholm's right there. All right, just production. <clears throat> they are saying I should make another settler. Um. Well, I guess they're gonna grow in two turns, so that's fine. He's not gonna have an escort though. This guy won't get back in time. That said, it is important early on to get those cities going. So. I'll do that. However, let's go ahead and make up uh, what we want to do next. <clears throat> so we're going to have trade in one turn. So I'm going to say, especially since we're working on our next city, I'm going to say that I want a trader. Bronze working. Okay, I could get some luxuries right away if I do a builder, but I don't think the time is quite right for that. Let me do another scout. Then a slinger. Then a builder. And we'll leave it there, because then... <clears throat> oh yeah, I should make an accountant, actually. So after the scout, I'll make an in camp and and might as well make some barracks because I'll probably need housing at the time maybe maybe not I don't know but that'll help um, get some good units out there all right so that's good I think we're good so we decided next would be uh, no nothing okay um, let's zoom back up here so I can see what I'm doing I scroll back up I mean Turn. Four more minutes before I can eat my muffins. 
Because they said you should rest them for 20 minutes after taking them out of the oven, so that's what I'm doing. Don't know if that's BS or not, but uh, just like uh, Meathead in his first book and Kenji Lopez Alt, um, America's Test Kitchen seems to be pretty science based. There's a couple things they say where they disagree with Meathead a little bit, kind of like uh, resting stakes and stuff like that, but. You have built great cities of. For the most part, they tend to agree in the, in the important things. <coughs> so they say to let the uh, English muffins rest. I'm going to let the English muffins rest. Uh, so that's what I've been doing this morning besides helping the wife vacuum and um, take care of the kids and stuff. Um, if bread is the first necessity of life, recreation is a close second. Nice. It's Mahjong. All right. I'm going to reduce the maintenance right now. That seems to be important. <clears throat> okay, I think I'm okay where I'm at right now. Yep. I'm not sure how much of that was muted from uh, me sneezing, so. Huh. Beat to the Oracle. Dan is fighting the Zimba. <coughs> Which will get them out of my way, but also increase Dan's strength. Um, Alright, Delhi. An archer. All right, I had military district after Archer, so I don't want to waste things. We'll put them, put them up this way since we can shoot against people. Last game. <clears throat> My Gilgamesh game. <laughs> right, the timer went off. I can technically go eat my muffins now. Uh, just want to finish this Gilgamesh game. A collection first. of heaven. Um, gosh. Oh, yes. The other thing I've been working on besides the food is, um, as you guys may or may not know, I've got a script. All right. Dave has proposed a deal. I say, give me Chengdu. All right. So that's my counter proposal. Nice butt. Nice. Oops, might have just earned a promotion. Not sure. Alright. So, I've been working on my 
script that creates all the stuff you see on the bottom here, dice donation, total raised, all that type of stuff. It's a Python script. I've been working um, this weekend on converting it to Python 3 and also on writing some unit tests so that um, <clears throat> unlike what has happened to me before in other times, uh, I won't uh, be in a situation where I make a change and then something breaks. And also hopefully I'll be able to anticipate people having emojis in their name or in their message or non um, ASCII characters in their name such as Chinese characters or other Asian characters. So I'm hoping to anticipate that and keep things from breaking. Uh, so I'm working on those unit tests and hopefully be pushing that stuff to GitHub uh, in the next few days, maybe in another week or so. I don't know. It depends. Uh, so this has been Eric. Very stuffy, sick Eric playing Civ 6 multiplayer. I'll see you next time. Bye.